Hello knowledge seekers, hope you are doing well and as always if you are new to my channel I would humbly request you to subscribe to my channel so that you shall be able to watch all my latest engineering videos that will be helpful for your future studies. Okay, so today the problem at our hand is that we need to prove that E is equals to 3K into 1 minus 2 nu. Okay. Remember, E is the modulus of elasticity, K is the, called the bulk modulus and nu is called the Poisson's ratio. Okay. So, in engineering, especially in solid mechanics and stress analysis and machine design, we are going to frequently encounter four elastic constants very, very much commonly. Okay. These four elastic constants are basically uh, the Young's modulus, uh, they are basically the shear modulus the bulk's modulus and the Poisson's ratio, okay. So, in order to drive this relation, uh, we basically need to understand what is basically our Hooke's law in 3D, okay. As we have already uh, done Hooke's law in 3D in our previous video, we know that uh, for a body, uh, uh, Hooke's law in 3D is basically being given by the relationship as follows, okay. It is whenever basically strain is applied for a cubic three-dimensional system along the x-axis, we get uh, the strains as along the x-axis as sigma x upon e minus nu upon e sigma y plus sigma z. Uh, for a strain along the y-axis, it will be basically sigma y upon e minus nu upon e, e sigma z plus ka sigma x and the strain along the z-axis is sigma z upon e minus nu upon e sigma x plus sigma y okay again these three strains when applied uh, simultaneously along a cube in a 3d system are basically called as the triaxial strains they will be termed as the triaxial strains and which basically we have already shown you here in this system this is basically a triaxial this is basically a triaxial strain system okay the strains are being applied simultaneously in this system so this is a triaxial strain system Okay. Now, we have already understood that these are our three strains. Okay. Now, we know that these three equations, these three equations expressed as generalized Hooke's law for triaxial state of stress. Okay. Now, if we add these three strains, which are the three strains, epsilon x, epsilon y and epsilon z, we will be called as uh, we will be calling it as the volumetric strain. We will be calling it as the volumetric strain. Okay. So, epsilon x, epsilon y plus epsilon z added simultaneously, it will be termed as E. It will be termed as E, the volumetric strain because the three strains are when added together, they will give you the triaxial strains of the cube in 3D. Okay. Now, since the strains are uh, which are being generated are as a result of the stresses in along the three axes x, y and z and uh, if you look at it uh, when these stresses being applied uh, in this cube, okay, you remember this is when stress is being applied over here uh, in this cube it will be sigma x when the stress is being applied along the y axis it will be termed as uh, uh, it will be called as sigma y and when the stress is being applied along the z axis it will be called as sigma z okay and if you look at it these stresses are being applied on the surface in the outward direction so they will be uh, basically the sigma x sigma y and sigma z will be termed as hydrostatic stresses they will be termed as hydrostatic stresses they will be termed as hydrostatic stresses and since these hydrostatic uh, stresses uh, are being of same magnitude, we will be called it. We will be calling it as sigma x will be equal to sigma y equals to sigma z equals to sigma z equals to sigma. This will be equation three. These uh, hydro, uh, these uh, Hooke's law in three D is termed as equation. It is called as equation one. And your uh, volumetric strain is basically being termed as volumetric strain is being term, uh, termed as uh, equation 2 okay so now what we will do is basically we are trying to basically uh, add these three equations epsilon x epsilon y and epsilon z when we will be adding them 
when we adding them, we'll be getting this equation epsilon x, epsilon y, and epsilon z. When they are being added, we will be getting it as sigma upon e into 1 minus 2 nu, epsilon y equals to sigma upon e into 1 minus 2 nu, epsilon x equals to sigma upon e into 1 minus 2 nu. Okay, so how it is being done, I have all I could show you over here is that. Uh, we have this is as uh, already told you that this is our epsilon x sigma x upon e minus nu sigma y upon e minus nu sigma z upon e. This is uh, and we know already that uh, sigma x equal to sigma y equal to sigma z equal to sigma hydrostatic stress. This is our epsilon x, this is our epsilon y and this is our epsilon z. Remember that in this equation x, y and z are basically being equal to sigma. Okay. So once we have got epsilon x as sigma upon e into 1 minus 2 nu added with epsilon y equal to sigma upon e into 1 minus 2 nu and epsilon z sigma upon e into 1 minus 2 nu, we will get epsilon x, epsilon y plus epsilon z equals to, since these are the same, we will say 3, three sigma upon e into 1 minus 2 nu and the all the calculations are being shown to you over here, okay. So this epsilon x epsilon epsilon z equals to e equals to 3 into sigma upon e into 1 minus 2 nu. Now this is being done. Okay. So now when we add them, we get this relation e equals to this say epsilon x epsilon epsilon z equals to 3 sigma upon e into 1 minus 2 nu. But remember the ratio sigma upon e, which is basically sigma is not a normal stress, it is a hydrostatic stress divided by the modulus of the elasticity. Okay, there it is divided by the uh, modulus of the elasticity. It will basically be termed as uh, three sigma upon e into one minus two nu. Okay, so remember this uh, modulus of uh, this uh, modulus of elasticity is basically e. This is basically the e. Okay, so sigma upon e equals to 3 sigma upon e into 1 minus 2 nu but the ratio of hydrostatic stress to that of the volumetric strain okay remember this is e okay this is not modulus elasticity this is e sigma upon e so sigma upon e the hydrostatic stress to that of the volumetric strain is called as the bulk modulus okay so the bulk modulus is k is equals to sigma upon e and we can replace in this equation sigma upon e, sigma upon e with k. So we will be getting as e is equals to 3k into 1 minus 2 nu and this was our required proof. Okay. So uh, I hope you have understood this uh, important uh, uh, proof for the elastic constants and we will come up with another short proof in the next video. I thank you a lot and I hope you have a very good day.